Nothing prepared us for Cabo's new 2022 Mantis King GT. In 2021, Cabo blew us away when they turned the heavyweight champ Wolf King into the bigger, faster, smoother Wolf King GT. This time, they've taken one of our favorite light heavyweight scooters and surprised us with even more updates, including a type of suspension we've never seen before in this class of scooter. We thought the Mantis King GT would be a Mantis Pro with improved waterproofing, a nicer display and throttle, and maybe sine wave control what we got was such a big overhaul, it's hard to know where to even start. Watch this review to the end because every single section has something new. And if you want to be the first to know when we put out a new video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Cabo is known for making some of the best and most innovative scooters while also giving us great bang for the buck. And Cabo took this upgrade as an opportunity to elevate their scooter game even higher. If you haven't yet, check out how your favorite Cabos fared in our best of 2022 ESG awards in the video linked down below. Meanwhile, here's how the Mantis King GT held up in our performance tests. The Mantis King GT is the first Mantis to reach a top speed of 40 miles per hour and then it just kept going to 45.1. This makes the King one of the fastest light heavyweight scooters we've ever tested. Only the Dualtron Victor and Victor Luxury went faster. It's also exceptionally stable at high speed thanks to built-in steering damping, but not quite as stable as the dual stem members of the Cabo family. It has exceptional range for the price, covering 36.6 miles on the ESG range test course. The Manus King GT maintained hill climbing speed throughout the range test, only losing steam when it dropped below 5% battery. At 0% battery, the scooter did something that surprised me. It dropped into something I can only describe as walk mode and let me ride at 3 to 5 miles per hour for about another third of a mile before it finally stopped going. Acceleration is truly exceptional. Twin 30 amp sine wave controllers replaced the 27 amp controllers on the previous Mantis Pro, making the Mantis King GT both smoother and faster. Arriving at 15 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds, the Mantis King GT dethrones the Mantis Pro as the quickest Mantis ties the Visette 10 Plus for the quickest light heavyweight, and surprisingly matches the time set by the original 72 volt Wolf King. The hills call and the Mantis King GT heeds. Like the original 72 volt Cabo Wolf King, the Mantis King GT eats hills for breakfast, arriving at the top of our hill climb test just two tenths behind the bigger Wolf King GT, ties the Visette 10 Plus, and beats the original Mantis Pro by four tenths of a second. The Mantis King GT's braking is outstanding due to zoomed hydraulic brakes and hydraulic suspension which maximizes traction. It outbreaks every Mantis including the new V2 and beats the new Dualtron Victor Luxury by nearly two feet. The Mantis King GT really does wear the crown in terms of ride quality. It is just so good and that's mainly due to these hydraulic shock absorbers with adjustable damping. There's a reason that every motorcycle on the planet uses hydraulic shocks. They're just better than absolutely everything else. Right out of the box they're awesome and with just a few clicks, they get even better. Our shocks developed squeaks at the pivot points, but just as with most squeaks, lithium spray grease solved it in less than five minutes. The stem stiffness gets a B plus. It's not as stiff as the Mantis, Visette, or even the previous Mantis Pro, but honestly, I didn't notice any stem wobble while riding. Then there's the silky smooth sine wave motor controllers, and finally, a thumb throttle on a Mantis. You'll recognize this as the same throttle on the Wolf King GT and the Nami, and unfortunately, it still has the same dead zone. However, I just anchor my thumb on the housing, so I have a reference point for when the throttle will kick in. Once you're moving, throttle control is so good that I can't see every taking it out of gear five and dual motor. It does everything I want it to do all in one riding mode. So if you're an experienced rider, you don't need to change gears to go from maximum control to hair raising speed. Another of my favorite features is the deck, which looks awesome and has good grip. Usable deck space is an inch longer and half an inch wider than before, and nearly three inches longer than the famously short deck of the Visette 10 Plus. It helps that the stem to deck latch is so small that you almost don't feel it at all. The footrest is a huge improvement over the previous generation. Like always, it's curved front to back to match your foot, but now it's flat from side to side so you can control the lean angle of your scooter with your rear foot. Then there are the tubed pneumatic hybrid off-road tires that grip better than I thought they would, though on pavement they're not quite as grippy as road tires, and they definitely make the ride a little noisier. 
On the plus side, they're mounted on split rims for easy tire changes. Keep an eye on your speed because the smooth ride and smooth throttle will trick you into riding faster than you think you are. Fortunately, the speedometer is easy to read, and let me just say how happy we are to say goodbye to the EY3 display of the Mantis Pro in favor of the 3.5 inch color TFT display on the Mantis King GT. You can read it in bright sunlight, and it tells you just about everything you can want to know, including the time right at the top of the display. All of these things together are probably why I kept repeating inside my helmet, this scooter is so good, so good, during the range test. I could be wrong, but isn't the Mantis King GT the best looking Cabo yet? It feels as premium as it looks, and take a look at the best Cabo swag lights ever on the side of the deck. What's more, you can even customize the colors and patterns using the LED Hue app. The battery is made using premium Samsung 21700 cells, which have more watt hours per pound than conventional 18650 cells. The Mantis King GT also gets two charging ports for the first time, and comes with two chargers, bringing charging time down to six hours despite the huge battery. Unfortunately, the new style of connectors on the charger makes them a little harder to plug in compared to the classic three-prong style. It's a good idea to double check your charger to make sure you've inserted the plug all the way in. We love the new high-mounted headlight and the low-mounted lights are now much brighter than before. The high-mounted light and swag lights make a huge difference in terms of cars seeing you at night. To top that off, the Mantis King GT has separate brake lights and turn signals, and unlike early versions of the Mantis, the buttons for the headlight and the turn signals have indicator lights themselves. Finally, the Mantis gets an IP rating of IPX5, following in the footsteps of the base model Mantis V2. Fenders are also massively improved and look better too. On our pre-production Mantis GT Pro, the rear fender would rub on the tire over bumps, but Cabo's aware of this and we expect they'll have that sorted out by the time they go into full production. We mentioned how good the 3.5 inch TFT display looks, but it's also the most water resistant display ever with a rating of IP65. The Mantis King GT is quicker to fold, though harder to carry than the previous generation due to its weight. The new stem latch is super fast and has a really cool looking safety mechanism. Just don't forget to use it because it looks almost the same when engaged or not. Looking at the scooter, it's not clear where it gained 9 pounds, but you can definitely feel it. I wouldn't want to carry it up more than one flight of stairs on a daily basis. It's slightly longer than the previous generation, which means it's a tight squeeze into the trunk of most cars. When it comes to safety, the Mantis King GT guards you like royalty with excellent night visibility from a high mounted headlight, front deck light, and the swag lights. We love that the turn signals are separate from the brake lights, but wish it had turn signals at the front too. The Mantis King GT comes with an electronic horn, responsive braking, and a digital security lock, so only you can turn it on. Plus, build quality that makes it feel as safe as a dual motor scooter can be. Pros include outstanding adjustable hydraulic suspension, quick stem latch, smooth and powerful sine wave controllers, and a gorgeous TFT display. Cons include stem not as stiff as a Vissette or Phantom, 9 pounds heavier than the previous gen Mantis Pro, and hybrid off-road tires aren't as quiet as road tires. While you're doing your research, here are some scooters with similar price and performance. Vissette 10 Plus higher rider weight capacity, more portable due to folding handlebars, but slower top speed, shorter range, less comfortable ergonomics, and more than five pounds heavier. Dualtron Victor Luxury, higher top speed and range, and more portable, but more expensive, slower acceleration, and no IP rating. Cavo Wolf Warrior X Pro, longer range, but noticeably slower acceleration in hill climbing less portable, and like the other three on this list, the display is starting to look old. I think the highest compliment I can pay the Cabo Mantis King GT is to say that it feels like a smaller Nami Burn E2, but less expensive, much more portable, and of course, a less intense ride. The Mantis King GT does everything really well. Braking, acceleration, smoothness, top speed, range, and just look at it. Our wish list for 2022 had a lot of things on it. Better IP ratings, better displays, thumb throttles, hydraulic suspension, sine wave motor controllers, and more 21700 battery cells. The Mantis King GT just checked all of those boxes. At $24.95, it's not cheap, but if your budget allows, we can say with all confidence, the Mantis King GT will not disappoint. Use our link in the video's description box where you'll also find an ESG exclusive coupon code. If you're still with us, take two more seconds to like and subscribe so you won't miss our newest releases. And if you haven't seen it yet, check out how your favorite Cabos fared in ESG's Best Electric Scooters of 2022 video linked below. Or check out this video.